Institute, thanks for joining us today. Okay. There's a big event taking place tomorrow, Saturday, in Barrington. This is a fundraiser to raise money for families separated at the border. And there's a lot of people involved with this event. There are indeed. Um, thank you for having me on today. I'm actually here in my individual capacity. Okay. Um, you know, this was an event that really came out of a lot of Rhode Island moms, especially feeling that they needed to do something about these children separated from their parents. You know, we read the news reports and are just heartbreaking, heartbroken thinking about what that would be like for both the parents and the children. Um, and a number of people here in the state had organized to have different events, um, vigils and rallies, um, but it felt like something else needed to happen. So Hillary Levy Friedman, who's with Rhode Island Now, um, is such a doer, and so she uh, contacted some of her immigration friends and said, you know, what can we actually do to make a difference um, in addition to rallying and, and making our voices heard that this is not going to happen on our watch? And a number of people recommended an organization called the Florence Project, which is um, an organization in Arizona that works with children and families and individuals who are looking at being removed from the country and ensures that they have legal representation. Okay. Um, you know, one stat I didn't realize is that 86% of people facing removal from the country do not have any legal representation in court. And so the Florence Project really looks at um, ensuring that people have a fair trial and understand their rights um, going forward. So talk with us a little bit about the nuts and bolts of tomorrow's event. We'll put more info on Go Local when you uh, watch us and read us after, but 5 to 7 in Barrington. And then what's the contribution level? Yes, yeah, so it starts at $35, so we do ask people to go online um, to donate. You can either Google Rhode Island um, Brings Hope to the Florence Project and then there's a Facebook page. Um, it's going to be a beautiful event, a waterfront event with past hors d'oeuvres. We actually actually have a, um, a great speaking program. We have um, someone from the Florence Project, Greer, Greer, Greer Millard, who's coming to tell us about her work. Oh, wow. um, Congressman Cicilline will bring the Washington perspective, Representative Regenberg, and then um, uh, Mayor Diosa and Gabriella Domenzine, who actually went down to the border to see what was happening firsthand will be here to speak as well. Um, and then the other part of the event that's so fabulous is we had a number of artists contribute either original or signed work that really in some way um, is a protest to what's going on. So a number of them you will have seen in social media. Um, the illustrator R.W. Allen, who's a Rhode Islander who illustrates the Paddington Bear books, has created an original piece for us um, that will be for uh, for auction, um, and then a number of people, I don't want to leave anybody out, but Jeanette Bradley, there's a new book that she's written called Love Mama, and she'll have both the book and some um, glycine prints for, for auction. Jen Corsi also created an original piece um, and which helped raise money for DACA um, kids in Rhode Island and now is, is going to be used to raise money for this as well. So really some amazing artists and work and then some other local individuals who wanted to donate for the auction. So are you just trying to get critical mass? Do you just want people to turn out? Absolutely. So we have about 70 people that we expect to come already, but certainly we would welcome um, additional folks. The host committee is a really fabulous group. We have um, both Peggy and Fred Mello who are hosting it in Barrington, um, Party, Marty Roas and Peter Asen, and Marty was really instrumental in getting a lot of the silent auction items, um, and then Hillary and myself and Emily Oster and Wendy Plant. And then we actually even have some organizations who are sponsoring, so Rhode Island Now, Planned Parenthood, and um, Rhode Island Kids Count. And I can imagine if folks can't make the event, they can still donate. Absolutely. So if you go to the Facebook page, you can find it on Google or hopefully from your website, um, you can donate online either to attend or um, just to support the cause uh, separately. Well, I appreciate your taking the time because, as you said, this was a big undertaking getting everyone together. It's been, as you said, a month in the works, and tomorrow is the day, 5 to 7 in Barrington. We'll put all that information up as well. But, Rachel Flum, I appreciate, as always, your taking the time to Thank come in. So I'll let you I go around the corner. Kate. Don't go anywhere as we wrap up the 12 o'clock show here in the Navigate Credit Union Broadcast Center.